Today we are going to make a Hungarian mutton goulash called uh, Birka Gulyash. Okay. I'm not measuring, I'm just putting a little bit. Say about two tablespoons, no more. Okay. Not sure. Onions, tomatoes ready washed. I have small onions today, not big ones, so I just say about two onions. This is small onions. Well, a goulash make a similar way like you make a stew. But some people think it's a stew, but it's like a gouillard soup. It must be wicked on. In olden time, they're eating a full meal because going to be carrots in and potato only when the meat of they cook. Right. Golik, I put it later. And the tomato. Switch on the stove, number five. And must braise the onions. Okay. I always use a wooden spoon. Go see this. There we are. We just wait to cook. Now I'm cutting up the meat already. I always buy a knuckles. Because the bone in and very soft to meat. I got here mom in a kilo. I like to make a big pot, so tomorrow I don't have to cook. Enough for two days. Hey, I ready to catch up this one. I cook it with the bone because the bone's even nice way to ready wash the meat. You don't wash it the meat a bit. And not too much water, just under the tap. Next time we are going to make vegetarian dish. Okay, now we're waiting for the onions. It's ready. Tomato, I cut it up now. This I got tomato now. Some people put chili in, but I don't like chili in. I don't want to get hot. Too much I'm putting in only when onions, golden colonnade. And the garlic too, because the garlic can burn quick. grated the garlic. I don't like to squash it. I'm not so strong, so I grate it. I do it an easy day. It's ready. When the onion's ready, I just put this in for a few minutes. Put the paprika in, black pepper, salt. a bit of oil in just to braise the onion so it was too fat. I don't like too fat the food. Take about five minutes. Okay. My apron, I forgot to put my apron. Every time we cook it, we must have apron on, so also we don't get dirty. Hey, forgot my apron. Excuse me. In my tradition, a woman when cooking must have an apron on and scuff on her head, but I don't like scuff on my head. I hope my hair not falling out. Okay, no better. I should have an apron on before. Okay. Take time. For and I have already three potatoes 
and two carrots, peeled and cut it up small pieces, and a bit of celery, and only then the meat is cooked, nearly, halfway, then I put the potato and the carrots in, because the potato carrots not take too long to cook. Say about take easy two hours to cook. I put in a tablespoon paprika in, a little bit more, make it nice color. Okay, I'll keep my paprika in the top, easy. And a bit of pepper, say about half a teaspoon, no more. Black pepper, I granted on my coffee granted because it was a bit too big piece, it was too rough. This is what I'm going to put on the onions later. Somebody like it hot can put one or two chili in to make it more hot. Now just for a few minutes there into this. Smell a garlic in already. Okay, make the number four now. Don't want to put too far. Now I put the paprika in and the pepper. Okay. I have to be keep the paprika much and burn, otherwise we just okay. I put my meat in. All the meat goes in. Mix it up. I don't put water on yet. Let the mix a bit cook like this with the onions and the garlic and the tomato. It's going to be a bit hot, but I don't cook tomorrow. <laughs> I cook for two days now. Make it number two. Don't want to burn. Cooking slow. Salt I don't put on now, I put later on. Okay. This is my carrots and the celery and the potato. When I meat cooked nearly halfway, then I put it in. So cook all together. It's a goulash basic. Look nice. Never put a potato in early because otherwise the meat take longer to cook and not uh, going to be very soft. I mean, cooking over, you want to overcook. Some people in our tradition used to put a, call a chipetka, I don't know what you call a paste that you make and you, with your finger <laughs> dropping in, but I don't like it those. I just like it plain. Now I'm just mixing it just now ready and put a water over and salt. It's braising nicely. Just you braise them with the onions in. I put salt on later on. With the bony pieces in but it's good a nice strainer for the goulash. Okay, we let cook now and later on I put a, because out of the meat come in some liquid it says braised together like this. Forever. Okay, now my stew is a bit uh, braised, must be okay, you see. I put a hot water on from my kettle and put some salt in and cooking. Okay, the water ready. I'm cooking nicely, eh? But having got salt on, not basic, I just put salt on just now. Come on, kettle. I got my boiling water on, cover it up like this, cook slowly. Let's see what number is on, number two. 
cooking nicely number two. Let me mix it. I think a paprika enough and I don't want it to, but it's going to be nice, eh? All right, put salt in now. Now I must measure the salt, I can't just put it on my hand. Put on the spoon. Put a salt about a small tablespoon like this. Because a lot of meat here. I say you can always put more, but you can't take it out when it's salty. Okay. Now cooking about now it's up past two o'clock. We put a potato in and other stuff. Okay, finish very the meat. Put some salt in there. Oh, there, front of me. I'm getting old. The leader I forgot is here. All right. Cooking slowly now. In number two, because number two, I don't want to go to my computer and forget the food and burning. Because many times happen to me. I'm playing a computer again, and my food is burning. Not only happened once. Now I'm going to check it, the meat. I think halfway cooked and put a potato in and the carrots. Oh, look at so much cooked down, eh? Unbelievable. Let's see. It's still very hard, but I think it's all right to put a potato in now. Yeah, I put a potato in. Yeah, potato, carrots, and the celery. Okay. Oh, I do it with my hand. Can't do it with the spoon. Here is a potato cut up small pieces. So when it's cooked together, ready again, another, maybe another half an hour, I don't know exactly. We see when a potato is soft, and the meat is cooked. Okay. I love to put a bit of celery in because it gives better flavor. Okay. Okay, just now mix it up. This is a goulash, cooking and you're eating with the bread. You know this goulash is a very traditional, we have a lot of, um, in the past, I don't know about now, the people who look up to the ships in a field and they're taking their pot and they're having a meat and they're cooking on a fire. That's where I started the traditional Hungarian goulash. Okay, let me taste it. I just want to taste it if it's enough salt in and everything. Mmm, right. Tasty enough. Now cooking maybe other three quarter hour. When I put it soft, it should be okay. Number two I cook. I don't want to cook it too fast. My goulash is ready, still cooking, but I'm taking out some. This is a goulash soup, eating with the bread. Okay, got the carrots in, potatoes, not too much water cooked down. So right, put a bit of carrots in. You know some uh, place in Hungary, they use, usually put in a little noodle or dumpling, I don't know what you call, chip it can you call, but I don't, I just like it like this, okay. That's all, thank you. Go taste it, too hot. This way look like a goulash. Simple Hungarian dish. No decoration, nothing, just a tasty way to do it. And eating it with the bread. You know, all the time, I remember my father and my mom cook goulash. He always did like this, dipping the bread in. Mmm! Very tasty. Mm. 